guys, for today we'll be unboxing, I will be sharing my thoughts about the new iPhone 11, and I will verify if original or legit ba ang iPhone 11 na nabili ko sa e-mall. So if you want to know if legit or original yung nabili ko na phone, just keep on watching. I'll be showing you the iPhone 11 already. So this is the iPhone 11 and it's box. So I've shown you already na in unbox ko siya. So when I got this, it was really sealed. So let's open this once again. So sa box nga is meron siyang parang hole dito. Wait, there. In order to protect the camera from bumps or whatsoever. So, first time ko nakita na may ganito yung packaging ng Apple. I don't know yung sa Tanas ko. I don't, I'm not sure if ever meron yung small hole sa cover niya. And next is, eto na siya. Nakaganito yung phone. And um, as you can see, wala siyang parang safety cover dyan whatsoever. So, what else is inside the box? So, ipakita ko lang. The typical uh, manual by Apple. Meron silang pin ejector, tsaka mga manuals, and yung sticker, stickers niya. So, they also have the accessories. Itong adapter niya. Um, ear, ear pods and the lightning cable wire. So, wala, wala na po siyang audio jack. I think Apple has completely um, removed the audio jack na. So, going on, going on, going on the phone, ito na yung iPhone 11 in white variant. So, it's just like the iPhone XR pero nag-multiplier lang yung camera niya. So, it became two already. So, tapos meron siyang parang angat dito so that um, it will protect the camera naman. So, I think it's good. Tsaka, it's pure glass. So, I don't know if mabilis ba tong mabasag or what. And also, um, for the flash, andito. Tapos, ito ata yung microphone, microphone speaker or sensor. Tapos, the major, um, major change is yung Apple logo. Nasa gitna na siya. So, the Apple logo has been moved in between. And, so, so far, yan lang. Ay, meron pa pala. Yung iPhone number dito, natanggal siya. ba sa old series ng mga iPhone is meron siyang nakalagay dito na iPhone. Tapos, yung mga um, ewan ko if ano yung nakalagay dito na part. And so far, that's the back view. And for the front view naman, ito lang siya. So, nothing has been changed. Um, it's not a full screen na ano talaga. May space siya for, um, I don't know, how do you call that one? So, on the left side of the phone, it's still a typical iPhone. It has the ringer button here for silence and for ano. And also, the volume up and volume down. What's unusual is on the right side of the phone, the power button is here, but the um, yung lalagi ng SIM card is over here. It's, ano, parang bumaba siya. Um, it was really separated. So, super layo na niya sa power button. Usually kasi, andito lang, it, it's somewhere here. So, they have moved it further down here. 
And so far, yan lang yung changes ng iPhone 11. So, I don't think sa iPhone 11 Pro at saka 11 Pro Max, we'll see if ever maka-unbox tayo nun. So, I have already set up the phone. So, yun. Kita nyo yung sensor. Naset up ko na siya. So, nothing's new sa phone naman. Ito lang. Um, if frontal view, it's just like the iPhone XR. And, um, yung major change niya dito is yung camera niya. So, let's go sa camera. There you go. So, ito yung parang normal view. Tapos, pwede mo siyang i-zoom. Like, super duper zoom. Ha, hello. And, super duper zoom out up to this point. Na halos makita nyo na lahat. So, there you go. Zoom out. Tapos, nyo, pwede nyo din siyang i-zoom in up to that point. And, it's super duper linaw. So, ayun. So, it can be zoomed out up to 0 0.5 times. And, it can be zoomed in 5 times more. So, I doubt if pwede ganito sa iPhone 10 S series. So, sa portrait, um, just the same. Pwede na rin. Just like the iPhone 10 S series. Tapos, yung video niya, okay lang din. And, may slow-mo, yeah. Time-lapse. Then, may changes siya sa camera. This one, oh. I think this is new. Tapos, in this part, yung flash niya, oops, yung flash niya in this part. Ito, yung flash, yung live photo, tsaka, et, ay, ay, hindi pala. Ito yung parang timer or auto. Tapos, yung, ano niya, um, live photo. So, yan lang naman yung nasa iPhone 11. Um, iPhone 11. Tsaka, by the way, guys, when I received the unit, it was already in iOS, um, wait, iOS 11, I uh, 13.1.2. So, tsaka, may limited warranty siya na until November 4, 2020. So, it has been verified na brand new po talaga siya since, um, ewan ko kung bakit 4 yung naka-register, although it's 5 today, pero maybe it's a day, ano, ewan ko. So, ano siya, it's in 64GB, and white yung nakuha namin kasi wala nang available color. Supposedly black, but wala na. So, white na lang yung kinuha namin. So, that's it guys, for the phone itself. So, nabili ko pala yung phone sa email, third floor, specifically at Nikki's Gadget Trading. So, Nikki's Gadget Trading is offering high-quality iPhone, 100% original, 100% legit, at saka, um, it has been, uh, what do you call this? It has been known and, it has been known and widely acknowledged as one of the trusted iPhone sellers here in Cebu. Um, they do ship nationwide and they are not just only selling brand new iPhone, they are also selling high quality second hand iPhone. And if you guys cannot um, afford yung mga high end na phone yet, pwede po kayong sumali sa paluwagan. Um, for further information, questions, lahat, I will be leaving down the Facebook page, saka contact number if saan po kayo pwede maka-inquire. So, you can get your iPhone 11 for as low as 1,480 per quincenas and your iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max for 2,150 pesos and 2,250 pesos per quincenas. So, again, for further details po, you can um, check the description box. I will be leaving down information below and you can contact them. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to visit their Facebook page. That's Nikki's Gadget Trading and also Nikki's Gadget Paluwagan. And make sure to visit their shop at 3rd Floor Emol Cebu City. And they also have a branch at Mandawe City located at Insular Square Mall. Bye guys!